Uber and Lyft went bumper to bumper with taxi drivers at the unions this week. We even had former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis clashing with his successor, Bill Evans. Marianne, who is going to win this battle, the Uber battle first? Well, Uber and Lyft have already won. People are voting with their apps, and they've dumped taxis because they thought they were irreplaceable. And the fact is, they aren't. I mean, Uber and Lyft have filled that vacuum. People are using them more and more, and now taxis are trying to fight their way back. They thought they couldn't. What I hear, Jim, 20% of the taxi drivers are actually driving yeah. for Uber now. So like they're no, beginning I, to buy up the competition. And I, I think you're right. But what's interesting are the sort of the political macros of what's happening here, and that's the gig economy, stuff like Uber and Airbnb on the congressional level, uh, things like FanDuel and DraftKings, yeah. the, the mm -hmm. fantasy yeah. sports betting yeah. sites. Uh, it's the policymakers are, are, are late to this, and they're trying to regulate stuff that's popular. It's the Democrats who are doing the regulating, and they're regulating stuff that's popular among their constituencies, among their demographics. So a freshman deflate gate resurrection, Patriots Tom Brady going deep for Donald Trump's presidential ambitions. Listen. He's a guy who likes winning like you. You think uh, he's got what it takes? I hope so. That would be great. Be a putting green on the White House lawn, I'm sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> so explain this bromance, Jim. What's that Ann Coulter book? Shut up and say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Shut up and throw. Very, Very good. Very good. Marianne, I've de I love him as the Patriots quarterback. I've yeah, defended yeah, him here during yeah, Deflategate, but yeah. if he ever decides to get into politics, yeah. I'm against him. I'll tell you what, <laughs> though, have a problem. That's not an accident that he did the interview in front of his locker with the hat there. Yeah. That was not an accident. Best week. Let me start, Marianne. Go ahead. Carly Fiorina, who showed the guys how to get it done, and she did up on that debate stage this week. Good for her. She stood firm and played yep. played well, Jim. Perfectly. Uh, Joe Biden, uh, the drumbeat is building. Uh, he took on Donald Trump uh, in a speech this week in a way that others have not. We, is, are we at the point of no return with him? No? Yes? I mean, he's got to get in or not, right? Well, you've always said he's going to. I think he's in in October. I, I still don't think he does. More Healy's next week. Every Sunday we go on the record.